And so I'm on my way to pick up my new bike, which is obviously very exciting. I'm getting a getting a lift up there. I'm riding pillion, which obviously is a great opportunity to talk about pillion riding. The first thing is that every bike has got at least one strap for a pillion to hold on to which is usually like if it's on like a sports tour or sports bike it's at the front of the actual pillion seat it's just a little little leather strap that goes across it and if that's there use it like there's common thing and it's it's more of a comfort and safety thing for people that are just starting out on the back of bikes to um, to hold on around the waist of the rider which is fine but the problem with that which no rider will really tell you because they're trying to be polite and it's exciting that you've actually agreed to go out with them but it's really hard work because your weight is completely transferred through them during braking which actually makes it harder to brake so number one if there is a strap and if if it's just a strap that you've got if that's all that you've got available then use it because it's also it, it means that you're in control of yourself a bit more like on this there's um, there's grab bars on the side which is actually what I find more comfortable because it then means that your weight distribution is completely through your core so it's it's basically it goes through through your hips and through your ass and that's that's where you want it that's where you want to be working so it means that you you've got the uh, the fulcrum lever effect if you like or like on a seesaw the pivot point it's, it is then your hips and you can use your feet on the pegs and your hips to move your weight backwards and forwards. So when you're going into braking, you can kind of like push your tummy out, pull your shoulders back, and then that stops you from careering into the back of the helmet of the person in front, which obviously is a classic, classic thing that happens two up. Big thing that a lot of people talk about with, with pillion and like the first one of the first instructions you give to someone is to to lean with the rider and that's that is absolutely key of course there and, and you'll know like if you've got someone that's trying to stay upright whilst you're going around the corner you know about it it's really it can actually be quite dangerous but there's also another side to this which people don't think about and that is if you're if you ride yourself and you go pillion it's really important not to over lean it you have to remember that you're not the one taking the corner so it might be that you try to lean in too much because you're trying to ride your own bike or whatever and that you don't over egg it as well but I still always try to stay on the inside of of the rider of the pilot so you see like I'm kind of like bobbing my head left and right just to sort of get the eye around the corner and watching where we're going because you still got to even as a pinning you still kind of got to be a bit sharp you should still be looking where you're going you, you just keep in line with the body on the regular stuff and then there's anything that's a bit more like this one just bring yourself on the inside a little bit so you can see where you're gonna most likely pop back up so there someone just pulled off without really thinking about it we had to make some quick braking and all I had to do was just kind of like push my belly out and um, and kind of push backwards through through the uh, the heel of my foot which is what I've, where the pegs are basically just before the heel 